Welcome back to Bridal Sewing Techniques and today I'm going to show you our handy dandy cutting guide for veils. Um, veils can get really long as you know so we don't usually cut the veils on the table. What we do is um, this is our back room where we store all of our dresses um, and we just put a template. We literally drew it on the floor. Our floor is not fancy um, but we do keep it very clean. So what we do is we just throw the bolt down here. Let me let you see what it says. Veil start. Okay. There's fingertip 40 inches. There's waltz 58. Chapel 90. And cathedral 120. Okay. So you just unroll it for however long the veil is that you're making. Now, if you Google veil links, you're going to get all different kind of links. <clears throat> each company, each bridal shop has a different idea of the veil links. These are just the links that we've settled on with our local brides, what they seem to prefer, um, what they ask for. Um, and then, you know, over time, we've just kind of learned that, yeah, around here with the train links that are more popular, they like this length veil with it. And... And so we kind of tweaked uh, what, what the generally accepted length is. So I hope this helps. It saves us a lot of time, uh, much easier than measuring it out with measuring tape on a table and, you know, rolling and unrolling and all that nonsense. Have a great day. Bye.